All right, so I'm here with the boss, Mikey Garcia. So you guys have Virgil Ortiz versus Hooker tonight. Tonight. Will you guys be watching this? Of course. Of course. Of course we are. All right, and when we say we, we got Brian. Ooh. <laughs> Brian. You're gonna be watching it. Well, we're gonna go to my dad's. Check it out with my dad. Um, Pita, me, my dad, kids. And We'll be checking it out there. My sister's probably coming down. Awesome. And Good fight. how do you see that fight playing out? I I think I think Virgil stops Hooker sometime like in the eighth round, ninth round. I think I think he's strong to where he can hurt Hooker if that makes sense. I mean it's not an easy fight. Hooker's a good fighter. But I believe in, in Virgil. Awesome. All right. So, so you think he's going to I think he stops him. eighth or ninth round? Yeah. Got you. I and so. Pita says earlier, Pita said like fifth, sixth, but I, I think like eighth, ninth. Eighth, ninth. Yeah. And then, um, if you don't mind, uh, you were at the DAZN fights last weekend. Well, yeah, yeah. You were the, the Spanish uh, commentator, correct? The, um, the Chocolatito and the uh, Estrada fight. Yes. Yeah, we, we were there. I was the. Uh, guest commentating on the Spanish broadcast for the zone. How was that? Cool. Uh, Ricardo Selly is cool. I know him from, you know, before, before and Claudia Trejos, same thing. You know, I've known her for a long time. So it was cool. We had good, good chemistry, good team feeding off each other, you know, and I think we did a good job. See, everybody I seemed to be, to be uh, happy with us. I mean, everybody messages everywhere saying that we did a good job. So awesome. It was cool. Awesome. And Great then. Fight. Great fight. Yeah, how how did you see that fight? I, you know, I thought it was a great fight. Um, I I didn't quite keep score like to really be judging the fight, but just overall, I was you know tallying up some rounds and you know the rounds. But in order to really judge a fight, I would have had, I would have to watch it and really try to you know score it like the right way, I, which I didn't do. But just from what I saw, I thought it was a very even fight. I could see the fight going either way, but I, I kind of saw and leaned a little more on the Jocolatito side. But I could see it go either way because it was very close. A lot of the rounds were very competitive, like close. So it could go either way. And how would you, uh, so would you look forward to seeing a trilogy? Oh, fuck yeah. That was a great fight. Both of them have been good fights. This one was probably even better. I mean, it, it was such a good fight. I think it makes, it makes sense to have a, a, a third fight to see if there really is a clear winner. Because, I mean, Joelito won the first one, that was like eight years ago. Estrada just won this one, very close fight. So, I mean, they deserve a third fight and see if anybody can really pull off, you know, a, a, a clear, decisive win. Who do you think would be the victor in the third fight? I don't know. Estrada. It's too hard, yeah. See, originally, leading up to the fight, I thought Estrada would be the bigger fighter the the more natural uh, in that weight class at, at 115, the bigger natural guy. So I, I kind of leaned towards Estrada. I kind of picked Estrada. I picked Estrada to win the fight. Being that Chorajito had already lost, when he moved up the weight, he didn't seem to be as strong. So I kind of favored Estrada for those reasons. But I mean, Chorajito really fucking improved and, 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 and really impressed and just really put it out there, so I'm like, damn, you know, third fight, you really can't pick, I, I wouldn't be able to pick a uh, third fight, I think, actually, I probably end up picking Chocolatito to win the third one, you know, based on what I saw the last Saturday. Don't you? And then, of course, obviously, the, the burning question on from from all your fans is, what about Mikey Garcia? When are, when are we going to see Mikey in the ring? And there was huge, huge speculations just two weeks ago, you know, of you know, news leaking of it's official Mikey Garcia versus Pacquiao. Nothing has been official. And I don't know if there's a fight yet. We're waiting, we're talking, but it's back and forth. It just takes a long time. You know, just the way it is. Just the process. So we're still in the process. We'll be back, we'll be back. We want to be back uh, May, June, you know, this summer. So. I'll definitely be back. If it's not Manny, then I'll find somebody, you know, someone else. I'll find something to get back, but I definitely want to be back. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much.